All right, we're ready for math double dipping day two. No social studies this week. So the time that you would spend on social studies, we're spending it on math. I'm going to move myself out of the way. Let's look at today's slides all week long in your math double dipping. We're going to review or we're going to get into comparing fractions that have a denominator of 10 and a denominator of 100 and see how they compare to each other. Today, you've got five slides. It'll take a little bit longer today, but they're, they're not that hard. All right, so this first slide for today, again, we're finding the equivalent picture. So what do we see here? I see this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows, so 90 hundredths. And I've got to find the equivalent picture that would show the tenth, so nine tenths. And you can just kind of look at a picture and see the pictures match, right? This has one empty row. This has one empty row. So now over here, I've got to put in the, what this first picture represents. We just said that's 90 hundredths. Erase that question mark. And this one shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. So the first slide, you're finding the matching picture. And make sure also you type in what each picture represents. The first fraction will represent the first picture. The second fraction you type in will represent the second picture. Let me do one more backwards with you. All right, so this one has one, two, three, four, five tenths. So I'm going to type in five tenths. I've got to find a matching picture. So if I'm looking at hundredths, if I multiply hundredths, 10 times 10 would be 100. Five times 10 would be 50. So I'm looking for a picture that shows 50 hundredths. It looks like this one right here is. Okay, 50 hundredths. One, two, three, four, yep, 50 hundredths. So make sure you type it in. Don't just move the picture, but type in your fraction. So that's how you're going to do this first slide. The, select, the second slide, all right, let's see what we're doing. We're looking at a number line, and we're showing them. We've been looking at pictures like these. Now we're going to take a few slides and look at some number lines. So notice how this number line is divided up. It's from 0 to 1 because fractions and decimals are less than 1, right? If we put 0 point something, so this would be 0 0.1 if it was a decimal, but we're just looking at fractions. So this would be 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths. It says it right there, okay? And it wants to know how many hundredths are that. Now, between each little mark here, there's 10 little tiny mark. So every from here to here, there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 marks from here to here, which makes sense because if we look at equivalent fractions, 10 times 10 is 100, 8 times 10 is 80. So when we're looking at equivalent fractions like we're going to be today in the next few days, just know you're multiplying times 10 on the top and bottom every single time. Just like this, 10 times 10 is 100, 5 times 10 would be what? You've got to take this and stretch it out on the second one. Stretch it out to where it's equal to that top one, okay? I'm just going to move it down here and shrink it back. You do the stretching out of it, okay? And then type in what number would go here. On this slide, this slide right here, we're doing the same thing. Take these little blue marks and stretch them. You don't have to stretch the first one maybe a little bit, and tell me what the equivalent fraction would be. Now, notice this is 10 hundredths. This time we're looking at how many tenths. Well, remember, this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, and so on. Same thing with the second one. We've got 70 hundredths. Stretch it out and tell me how many tenths. If you're starting with hundreds, you're not multiplying to get 10, are you? 10 to 100 times 10 is not 10. 100 divided by 10, or you can make backwards. 10 times 10 was, is 100. What times 10 would give me? 70. Pretty easy. You should be able to look at these and automatically know them without dividing, actually. Take away the zero, right, if we divide by 10. Okay, so 1 tenth. This picture shows 1 tenth times what equals this picture. So this is a little tricky. Think about equivalent fractions. So 1 tenth times what equals this picture. So what does this picture show? Let's type out that in first. This is 10 
hundredths. So we're just looking and thinking about equivalent fractions like I just told you. One times what equals 10? One times 10 equals 10. 10 times 10 equals 100. So this is super duper easy peasy. Every time you're going to, on this slide right here, you'll put times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. 10 times 10 is 100. So you have 40 hundredths. This slide is just wanting you to see when we're changing tenths to hundredths, we multiply times 10. Okay. This slide right here, we're doing the opposite. We're taking hundredths and making them tenths. So when we take one hundredths and make them tenths, we divide by 10, top and bottom. Every, every single one on this slide, you can just type in divide by 10 because when we're making hundredths, tenths, so this picture shows what? One, two, three tenths. Okay, then we divide by 10. So 30 divided by 10, remember, take off the zero. 100 divided by 10, take off a zero. Or think backwards, 3 times 10 is 30, 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, so these are your slides for today. Okay. First one, match the picture, type in what each picture shows. Second one, type in what's missing, stretch it out. Third one, type in what's missing, stretch these out. Fourth one, multiply times 10 to get your second answer. Third one, divide by 10 to get your second answer. Okay, go back and watch this again if you get confused. I think you'll do just fine. Get on it.